welcome to the most fantastic family on YouTube. So I've been seeing this video go around YouTube like crazy. And basically, it's how to survive elementary, middle school, college, high school, just anything around that area involving school. Cause as you guys know, school is around the corner. Literally, I start school next week, Wednesday, August 21st, and I'm just like not ready, you guys. And probably you guys have already started school. Comment down below. Your summer, my summer personally was awesome. Working out, even though I didn't want to, mostly my mom made me work out, and just other stuff like that. And, you know, getting my mind ready for middle school. I missed to give you guys tips, tricks, and advice about how to survive fifth grade. So if you're going into fifth grade, this is for you. Um, I would do a middle school, but I'm going into middle school, so I actually don't know how to survive that yet. So that's why I'm gonna do the grade that I don't already went to. So without further ado, let's get on to today's video. I'm very excited. Hopefully you guys get some tips and advice and just different things that help you personally. So let's go. Okay, so the first tip for fifth grade is stay focus i'm saying i'm talking about the schoolwork. i'm honestly talking about in general but really stay focused because it's a lot of things that's going to be happening around you like drama like people getting into freaking fights people just being super rude to other people or bullying and just it's just going to be a bunch of things that's happening around you and you really have to like know yourself and no, oh my God, we got a tangle. Huh, got some naps. <laughs> but anyway, it's really good to know your worth, know who you are, know the person you are, know the person you want to be, know the person you are trying to become, know the, know the person that has goals set for themselves, that they want to accomplish. Know the person you are so you know that you need to stay focused onto your goals. Other people have different goals, other people have different things that they're trying to accomplish in life or in the future or different things that they're trying to accomplish in school or just different things in general but you have your own thing that you want to accomplish so make sure you're sticking to your own thing that you want to accomplish so you won't be getting stuck in all of these other people's goals because if somebody says I want to make 80 friends this year and you're trying to only make one and you're just trying to go slow with it then you're gonna try to make 80 friends because this girl got multiple friends she's getting friends quickly but it might not work for you so stay focused on your goals stay focused on your goals number two this is four but number two which kind of goes with stay focused mean or just people saying rude and disrespectful things don't let that get to you people are going to say a bunch of different things that are going to be off the wall or very crappy for them to say or just very disrespectful and you're probably going to be like wait why did you say that i didn't even do anything to you like what's your problem bro like you know but you, <laughs> but you don't want to do that you got to you got to just think differently you have to think differently and i'm not gonna lie i struggle with that my fifth grade year wasn't the best year but this is not about me anyway so like i said don't let people get to you even though that's hard i'm still struggling with that myself so i'm just gonna give you guys a couple tips that i kind of been trying to work on or i'm going to start even you know really putting that into my goal or putting that into my daily life or my lifestyle is to really try to let not let people get to me and i know a lot of people say walk away and i'm not gonna tell you the same thing everybody else says but it is best just to walk away it is best just to tell but if you're the person like me that wants to clap back i'm not gonna be like you know and that's how you're gonna make yourself i'm not not gonna make yourself cool but that's how you know that people are not going to be like want to play with you like okay all right she knows how to clap back you know clap back in a smooth way you know like throw a little shade but not too much you don't want to sting the wound you just want to give it a little like huh, you know a little sauce you know what i'm saying not hot sauce but like a little sweet and sour you feel me <laughs> sweet and sour sauce but you don't want to like burn the wound but like kind of give it a, i don't know you don't want to do too much but you don't want to do too less you want to let them know that you're not the one to play with so like if they say oh you ugly and be like well 
don't say your mama. I don't like those your mama jokes. I think that's very rude. So don't say that. But you could be like, well, look at your shoes. Yeah, but by the way, everybody's beautiful in their own way. So if you are actually saying you're ugly to other people, that's really mean. But if they throw stuff out there, they're gonna get stuff back. It's called karma. So whatever. Don't do too much. Don't don't threaten. Number one, if you gonna you know clap back, please don't threaten. That's just too much. You don't want to get in trouble after you clap back. You just want them to go home and be like, all right, ma, I think I learned a lesson. You don't want to be like, all right, ma, this person's going to fight me tomorrow. Ma, boom. <laughs> you are going to want to pack your own lunch. This is just in general how to survive. So I'm just saying, I survive by food. I'm not going to catch some of y'all schools behind the Shabon food, but... But I'm just saying, you can fit what you like into your lunch by packing it yourself because you are going to eat it and love it. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna eat it and you're gonna be like, okay, cool, I packed this myself. You're gonna put your own foot into it, like, yeah. Ooh. Number four, leave mean groups alone. If you see a mean group, you, I mean, you just get away just leave leave because as you see they're like oh my god this girl's crazy oh blah 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 just leave just be like all right peace do say it i'm leaving deuces that's how you want to be on them you know what i'm saying if you go into a negative group you're going to come out with negative outcomes and i'm talking about you being negative when you set a goal in your mind to be positive this goes with the stay focused thing stay focused on your goals stay at the negative group don't be involved in it because negative groups gonna negative groups are going to get you in trouble and like i said you're gonna leave with negative outcomes number five you want to really 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 dress up okay and i know a lot of people if it's great i feel like you i don't have to dress to impress but just like wear nice clothes just a little bit because unfortunately in the world that we live in these days they're like oh my gosh she wore that yesterday don't wear the same clothes dress nice if you're wearing the same clothes three times a week that's gonna be like hmm i know you like those favorite tight pants those favorite tight jeans those nice leggings i know you like them but you can't wear them three times two times or especially in a row just don't do that now sweatshirts sweaters you can do that i know they sweatshirts and sweaters but if they're seeing you wear the same thing more than once people are all over the place and mentally so they're just gonna say something and it's just gonna be like these are my favorite jeans do you got a problem with my favorite jeans you know you don't want to you want to have your own style you don't want to be like everybody else you don't want to copy don't be a copycat okay don't be a copycat and not like that not like you can't get inspiration from other people because other people might have some cool freaking pants from justice and you're like girl i like that or a cool justice bag or a cool lunch bag you're like oh girl i like that go get you one target justice marshall's Coles, claire's Judy's place if she got pink nails and now you got pink nails too then she got diamonds and blue lines and you got blue lines too things are just not cool you know unless you guys are friends and then you guys are like hey, hey let's dress the same tomorrow let's wear black ripped pants with a yellow shirt nike shoes cool match that's your friend but don't just go be like, okay, I'm gonna copy off you, 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 you. Wear the same three rings you're wearing. Wear the same lip gloss you're wearing. Be a teacher's pet. Be a teacher's pet. Really try to be nice to your teacher. Don't get mad at your teacher. Don't talk your teacher up, okay? A male or female teacher. Compliment them. Please pass out the papers. You don't wanna beg to pass out the papers. You don't wanna beg to pass out erasers you don't want to beg to pass out stuff you don't want to beg to help with stuff you want them to come with, to you now if there's a certain time you're just like oh can you pick me cool but we chill about it don't give like oh ah, when they don't pick you okay because you're probably gonna have 20 to 25 kids in your class maybe even 30 at the most and or 27 and people are gonna be like i want to go girl you just went last week so or like yesterday like can i go you know what i'm saying don't do that because then i people are like she 
always picks you. Now, another tip, another advice, another piece of advice is don't gossip. Don't don't spread rumors, don't gossip. Keep your image clean. Cause if you have if let's say you know this person from last year and they're in your school again and you thought, hmm, some of these people are new. Maybe this per maybe this person should get exposed. Or maybe I should just spread some rumors about this person since that person likes so since that person is well known and liked so much. <clears throat> don't do that. Don't be like, oh, so yeah, just don't spread rumors. Do not spread rumors. You want to keep your image clean. Whether you know 30 different crazy facts that you really want to spread about this person because they did you so wrong last year or are doing you wrong, don't do it. I actually have never been that person to do all of that just because we're not friends anymore to try to spread rumors. Because if somebody wants to be your friend and they know, if they, someone wants to be like, oh, she's cool, but you're telling her all types of rumors and you're telling everybody in the school all types of rumors after your friendship just broke up, she's not gonna wanna be friends with you because whether you do something or whether you, she does something that you guys don't, you guys both don't agree on, you guys just both wanna split part or split ways one day, and then you're telling her all, telling all her business, you know, nobody's not gonna wanna be friends with you. That's not the person that people are attracted to. Some people are, but not a lot of people, especially if they're trying to be nice. Join the sports. Last year I had a hard time because people always getting bullied or whatever, and it was just a lot going on. I know that could be stressful. Don't choose ones that are stressful, but join at least one. That's how you really make friends because people that are on track are very flexible and they love going places. So if you want them to go to your house, they will run to your house for you. <laughs> I'm just playing, but low. But no, seriously, low. But no, seriously, make friends. That's how you really make friends is joining sports. And I'm pretty sure I'm, a lot of people didn't tell you that. But don't you know, stress yourself out this year. Don't stress yourself out. I'm talking about me too, because middle school is coming up, and I'm scared. I'm itching, girl. I'm itching. But. Don't stress yourself out this year. Don't, cause fifth grade was a lot. I feel like at the end of the day, we're not gonna wanna do anything, and then tomorrow, we're gonna have a bunch of work piled up. A bunch of work. So don't stress yourself out. Just do it a little bit at a time, like throughout the day. If, they, if the teacher gives you time at the end of the day, while everybody's packing up to do something, do something. Whenever you have a chance, at recess, you wanna sit on the sidelines and do your work, do that. You you have to do that, you have to do your work, you just have to. It's very important, but you still don't wanna shut yourself out at the same time. At the end of the day, when you get home from school, do a little bit, eat a snack. Why are you doing a little bit? Because eating a snack is actually, they said it's very helpful, or just chewing gum. It's really great for your brain, especially Magnesi gum. So you can actually focus. It's very awesome. It's very good for you. So chew gum, chew minty gum, like spearmint, stuff like that, to stay focused. Taking breaks. Take breaks. Take bathroom breaks. Not too much, because then your teacher gonna be like, hmm, she's been doing a lot of bathroom breaks. That's a little, a little suspicious, a little mischievous. Don't be mischievous. Just take two or three bathroom breaks. Like, even bathroom breaks during lunch or recess is good as well. Oh my god. I'm gonna miss recess. Recess is not this year. I'm in middle school. There's no more recess. <laughs> okay. I gotta calm down. It's gonna be okay. No more recess. Like, it's literally gonna be no more recess this year. Okay, that's good. Anyway. But yeah, for you, fifth grade, it should be recess. So yeah. Having an emergency kit. Having any sort of emergency kit like bathroom, oh, bathroom, like a band aid, lip gloss, uh, chapstick, um, a pair of underwear, a, a you know what I'm saying, a little spritz, the pooperita, the Febreze, little mini Febreze bottle, like, you know what I'm saying, because, you know, the number twos in the school bathrooms are not the best, okay? I'm just saying, you're gonna stink up the bathroom and you're gonna be like, how am I gonna clean this out? It's, especially if you know all the bathroom stalls are filled and one person is actually waiting for you to get out the bathroom and the closest one to get out the bathroom because everybody just went in and somebody's waiting for that specific bathroom stall, you're gonna wanna freeze that, okay? Because number twos is the worst and they stink. The poop stank, okay? So you want to make sure nobody dies in your funk too. Bye guys! Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And down below, what was your favorite thing that was helpful? 
And not only that, comment down below if you guys want a part two because I would love to do one. With that being said, bye guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. And join the family. You know what to do. Stay fantastically fantastic. Bye guys. Ooh, it's Storm. So stay tuned because we do family vlogs and videos on this channel. So if you guys want to see more, you might as well subscribe and join the family. Okay, bye.